are listening to the Arcade Radio Network. Good evening, and welcome to another hour of Amiga Retro Music. And the podcast you know as Amiga Flashback. This is your DJ Demon. Today, the subjects are errata, you know, all the little errors, plus some brand new songs. That is one very Swedish tune. It's called Bergborg. That's a jackhammer, by the way. So, 
Subject for the day. That would be nothing more, nothing less than the errors and omissions. You need to do show prep before you start something like this. Every day I need to check out what am I gonna talk about and uh, do I have all the facts. You have to Google for it, you have to check sources and still, sometimes when you just think about something, you say, yeah, well, I remember this, <laughs> clear as the day. But it turns out that you may have been misinformed from start, or, yeah, well, misremembered, uh, attributing uh, a song to the wrong demo or something like that. We'll be talking a little bit about some of the missions and making sure that if we haven't corrected them, they will be now. Between the two, and uh, we're going on with binary next song, that is. So it seems to be something to do with, with the number two here. Well, let's talk about misattribution. During the podcasts, the radio station and those YouTube episodes I've been doing, there has been a number of times where I simply was not able to place the song right. Musik Linjen is a song which I claimed was kind of unknown. <laughs> Actually, it's a song from one of the most famous demons ever done. Yeah, Enigma. I also claimed that State of the Art was the demon that contained the song Chaos. It isn't. It's the Bud Brain demo, this mega demo, what it's called. I have also, a little bit erroneously, been unable to find some of the songs. I fought it over. I thought that was a song which you couldn't find anything about. Well, Discord people, you did prove me wrong. Honestly, <laughs> it is a very well-known tune by a guy calling himself The Master. So, I intend to try to do this better in the future. And this is not all the misattribution I have done, but it's the most important.
binary, as in what all good computers should be. Until that is, they invent a trinary system, which reports say they are doing. Someday it will be like that, but that is way above my pay grade. So, not all omissions are some things that you should have said but didn't. Sometimes facts can be hard to find. Official sources give you some information, and at that time it's nice that somebody can tell you, yeah, well, actually, and then something else. For example, telling you me a little bit more about, for example, what uh, parties there are. When I have an official list, maybe I simply do not tell you exactly what they are. And that's a cool thing, because it's uh, things that, like that that makes you know a little bit better about all the Amiga uh, organizations here in Sweden. There are a number of local such things in different small cities and um, I think they count too if you ask me. So yeah, I try to get better of covering them in the future. CK Neftis, again one of those, uh, you know, tracks where I don't have the track notes. And that is another thing that I would say counts under errors and omissions. I am at this time hard pressed to give you the correct names of the songs. I can see them when I download them, but it's a very tough thing to copy it manually from uh, the web page where I download them and actually put them in the database. The, the file name dictates what I can see on the screen. And I intend to try to find a way around it. I think I told you about this earlier, but it is hard for me to do it programmatically as the software doesn't allow me to import the information. And it's a bit tedious to put it in manually by pasting and copying and that, uh, that, that's just no fun, you know.
Dakota gave us notes. This is Derek Hay, the Radio Network, and now a little bit of a history lesson. During the war, the British people had a good song that they sang, Everything Stops for Tea. The plan was that no matter how bad stuff gets, you always had the British 4 o'clock tea. Uh, the Danish talk about kaffe og kage, which simply means coffee and a cookie, and that's the name of the next song. But here in Sweden, we have made it to an even larger tradition that we call fika. The idea is that no problem, no matter how grave or how small, has to be discussed here in Sweden over coffee and some cookies or something like this, this wienerbröd stuff we are doing. Yeah, uh, don't ask. And uh, everything can be like uh, a meeting with no purpose, but everybody's there because it's fika. Or a meeting that is super important and everybody's there for, well, you know, fika. Welcome to Sweden. <laughs> is over people please put down your coffee cups and listen to me i found a really fun thing on the internet because that's what the internet is for right uh yeah it is said to be a true paper it is a manager in a small swedish company during the late 60s he complains about the fika culture and says hey you're not paid to drink coffee Return to work immediately, and if you want to, you know, celebrate someone with a cake, that's not permitted either. Yeah, um, you can of course ask for an exception, and I might be nice enough to grant it. Ha! <laughs> that's for everyone that thought it was better a long time ago.
disco should be considered a very happy part of humanity's history. Neither was the Dark Ages and I guess the Second World War either, but there we are. A disco del, or part of a disco or something, I don't know. So, let's go on with some more music and we'll be talking about some more errors. is over so we are leaving the song with the same name sometimes you can be in error without actually saying anything that's wrong i must admit i have never said this on the station but i was wrong on the whole thing with atari and um, well music you know atari was great with a midi synthesizer but could it really play good songs on its own the Amiga was superior with the Polar ship, that's one thing for sure. But today on Discord, I get a hint here from our long time user Bitten that hey, take a look on the, uh, or rather listen to this Atari mixtape. I got a link to a German guy mixing it up. And I must say, I stand corrected. Atari music can be awesome. Kind of sounds a little bit like a Commodore 64 SID tune, but really nice.
happier Sundays. And I guess they are happier now that we know that every Sunday you will have a new, uh, well, episode of this podcast to listen to. So maybe it's Sunday as you're listening to this and then, um, well, relax, kick back and uh, drink whatever you want and eat whatever you want. Just remember, tomorrow, well, the serious life is back as we have to start working. Yeah, well, happier Sundays indeed. We're going on with Kenny Beltray and Positrons. Okay, that was a very abrupt ending, but I told you why this happened, so let's not go into that again. We're going on here with KO0X and goodbye. No, don't worry, we're not going anywhere. I would say we have somewhere around half an hour until it's time to close this shop.
Correcting errors in this podcast is kinda easy. All you do, or rather all I do, is putting it in the description under the heading errata. Problem is, errata is an errata in itself, because an errata, okay, now I've said that a thousand times, is actually a correction of a written word, and it's written in a book or publication. Well, this is a podcast, but if I were to correct that, it would become, well, a recursion, and we don't need that. Tune really whips the llama's ass. It's called Telosa 2. And when you have a professional podcast of any kind, this one is obviously not, but I have one, another podcast called Eat the Sacred Podden, which is an IT security podcast. Then ac- accuracy in information is so important that the whole podcast cannot be wrong very often. You can, of course, correct minor things, but what if the whole discussion is built on incorrect premises? Thankfully, that has not really 
happened with my other pod, except once. We interviewed a very crazy, I know now, inventor who had a very, should I say, custom-made idea of encryption. In, in more layman terms, it was broken beyond belief, barely functioning, insecure, and thankfully, uh, the person had never been able to make it work.
kinda a weird song, don't you think? The name of it is Lost Train, and at 5 minutes and 14 seconds, that is one long train running. But our train is closing into the final station of this episode, as Amiga Flashback will be over for this Saturday. And it will be available as a podcast, probably on Sunday. And that's the standard schedule for this ride. So come back next Saturday at 9pm CET. And uh, all aboard!
Mm, yep, yeah, so ends another weird song. Mm-hmm. It was called Life on the Street 6. So what's up on coming episodes of Amiga Flashback? Happy you asked. Go, because I can tell you, we're gonna meet Techman, an artist that has just released another retro tune album. We're gonna play the whole of it because, well, we're that generous. And he will be able to tell us a little bit about his work. We will also be talking in a forthcoming episode about storytelling and games. When they get it right and when they screw up. Because I love that. (laughs) 